So, Ted, good to see you again. Thank good. you. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, anyway, yeah. um, just as a quick recap, can you want to share with folks what tax lien certificates are? Because that's the conversation. Okay, great. Well, hi, everyone. I'm Ted Thomas, and I'm glad you're here visiting it with us on the video. Uh, I've been involved in the tax lien and tax deed business for, for over 30 years. I started as an investor. But the last 25 years, I've been kind of a mentor and a guide and a coach helping people learn about it. So uh, first, let me tell you what a tax lien certificate is. Think of the whole United States. All the properties in the United States are taxable, except for the churches and the schools. So uh, you can imagine people have trouble. You know, life goes on. They have hurricanes. Uh, people have babies. They have car wrecks. They, have, they lose jobs, whatever. And so everybody doesn't pay their tax. And so when the people don't pay the tax, the government has a problem. Now, the county government needs to collect property tax. Now, if they don't collect the property tax, they couldn't pay the school teachers, the firemen, the policemen, and so on. So they need to collect that tax. So the state actually authorizes them to levy a tax, collect a tax. And if they can't, what they simply do is they issue a tax lien certificate. So let's just use Maryland as our example. And in Maryland, if you don't pay your tax, they're going to send you a notice. They call that due process. And they send you a notice. It's just a piece of paper. I'm reaching over on my desk, piece of paper like I'm holding up. They send a notice and say, look, you haven't paid your taxes. So we're issuing a tax lien certificate. Now, what that means is, is you didn't pay your tax, but Sherman or myself could go pay your tax. You say, why would Sherman or Ted pay the tax? We would pay the tax because when you finally do come in, and by the way, 97% of people, according to their records, do pay their tax. So when you come in to pay, you're going to have to pay a penalty, just like you do on your master charge and your visa. If you're late, you've got to pay a fee. So they slap your hand. So that's what a tax lien certificate is. Now, in Maryland, this is staggering. Some of the counties pay 24%. Think about that. 24% is what we could earn. So that's powerful. All right. Now, in Florida, they pay 18%. In a place like Georgia, 20%. You're kind of getting the idea. So that's what a tax lien certificate is. But the states have alternatives. They're either a tax lien certificate state like Maryland is, or they're a tax deed state. Now, the tax deeds, that means the treasurer comes out and confiscates the property. So they're not very benevolent. They're pretty serious about that. So like New York and California and Virginia, what they'll do is they'll confiscate the property. So this is a business. It's been around for 200 years. How about that? Cool. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. So let me ask this, do, do the counties, uh, townships, et cetera, do they automatically um, send out the, the paid uh, taxes plus interest? Or do you have to like, do you have to go hunt down the money? Oh, no, this is, uh, this is kind of systematic. Um, uh, first of all, some of the auctions are right online. So you would register online and then you would buy a certificate online. Then what they, what you, when you register, they take the money out of your account. So then when, they, when the people come in and pay the tax, they put the money right back into your account. So you don't even have to do anything. Yeah. So whether, whether you do the old school way of go down there and buy the certificate at auction, you can go get a check if you want. But now I have a couple of friends, they brag about, oh, Ted, I got another check today. Oh, Ted, I got another check. Because they'll go in and they'll buy a dozen tax lien certificates and they're getting these checks all the yeah. time. And sometimes they're earning 8%, sometimes 16%. It's all different rates of return because it's an annualized return. So 24%. If, if the certificate's only outstand, outstanding for six months, then you're only getting 12%. But compare that with the bank. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, the banks are paying really less good. than 1%. That's really good. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so again, real quick recap. Tell us about tax deeds. And, and again, right. you said Virginia is one of the tax deed states. Right. And you guys are used to all those changes because you just drive around the throughway and you go through three different states. It's amazing. But anyway, um, yeah, tax deed states, it's the same system the local government needs money to run the government. So they created a property tax that everybody has to pay. So if you live in a big house, you pay quite a bit of property tax. If you live in a little house, you pay a little. But it's basically 1% or 2%. That's all it is, 1% or 2%. But if people have crises, they can't pay it. So in the what I call the deed states, the people didn't pay the tax. So the county will send multiple notices. And that those notices are what call, is called due process. And they're registered letters. I mean, they know if you got them. And so if you don't pay your tax, the treasurer is authorized to actually come and seize the property. In other words, the treasurer could confiscate the property and evict you, just say, you're going to push you right out. Now, the treasurer doesn't want the property. They do not want the property. They want the revenue. They want the revenue, and they want the tax roll going. 
So what they'll do is they will sell that property. Now, sometimes you can buy that property 60, 70, 80. And I've even had some of my students get 90% discounts from the tax assessed value because all the county wants is they want that revenue. So they start the bid very close to the back taxes. And if they don't collect that money, they're selling that property. They're going to get rid of it. Now, rarely don't they sell the property, but there's always a few leftovers. But the point is th that business is really serious. Now, a tax lien certificate, you just get a piece of paper. They don't push the people out. They're very benevolent. They give those people time to get a new job or get healthy and stuff like that. But the states that sell tax deeds, I'm telling you, that's serious business. They give you three or four notice. Sometimes they even have the sheriff deliver the notice. And if you don't pay, your house is gone. That's, you don't have too many alternatives. So that's a business been around for over 200 years. And we teach people to do that. Now, if you're a real estate investor, you're going to fall in love with this because where are you going to get properties for, for 60, 70, 80, 90% discount? Where is that going to happen? It's only going to happen at tax order. This is the ultimate foreclosure. Now, I come from the foreclosure business. I wrote books on that. They were bestsellers. This is a, a multiple of the four. It's a much better business. It's much safer. And this business does not go up and down. It doesn't go up and down like the stock market. It's always the same. All during that recession from 2008 to 2012, tax liens and tax deeds were the same all the time. No, none of my people ever lost a dime. Not a dime. So no. if we got Maryland's got tax liens and Virginia's got tax deeds, sounds to me like if I'm an investor who wants more of a passive income, maybe even through like my self-directed IRAs, the oh. tax liens is probably a better way to go. And if I really want to get my hands on the property, it sounds like the tax deed. Are there any, besides Virginia, are there any states that are better than another if I want to be kind of that proactive, go after the property kind of investor? Yeah, I say to real estate people, now that this is online, the whole United States is open to you guys. Mm. For example, I'm buying colonial houses in places like New York. Now, I'm not mm. talking about New York City now. I'm talking about what I call upstate, up the Hudson River ways. Mm -hmm. I'm buying those houses, round numbers, 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage. Wow. I'm talking about four acres with 75-year-old oak trees, nice. you know, that kind of thing. Now, yeah. they're used and abused now, used and abused. They're not, not perfect properties. But if I can buy those properties for 30 cents on the dollar, wow, that gives me some margin. So if you're a real estate investor and you're watching this, I would say definitely look at this uh, uh, in, in your IRA and if you have a Roth IRA, if you don't have a Roth IRA, you got to get one. Now, here's why you got to get one. Because if you buy a property and it appreciates or you sell it, you don't have to pay any tax. So all the money in a Roth IRA, you pay the tax going in. You don't have to pay later. But conservative investors, the guys like me with the white hair and stuff like that, a little chubby, all right? If you don't want to do any work, a tax lien certificate, here's how it works. You raise your hand, you buy the certificate, what you did is you invested with the government and you're going to get a check back from the government. How good is that? That's great. Yeah. Well, really good. 20, up to 24% if you're talking about Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. Up to 24. Now remember Maryland, you have to be real careful because you know, Arundel County pays different than Prince George's County. Yeah. So you yeah. got to read the record. You got yeah, to get up to, up to, right. Exactly. Yeah, got to yeah, read exactly. that fine print. But, but, yeah, exactly. but the point that you make is I'm dealing directly with the government. I'm not dealing with an individual. So right. Right. That's almost as that's almost as good as dealing with Uncle Sam. Right. Almost. Yeah. It's yeah. it's safe. It's safe and secure. I, I I'm I'm pretty comfortable saying safe and secure. That's for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah. um, do I need a broker or an attorney to to deal with any of this kind of stuff? Oh no, this was made. Uh, as a matter of fact, people come to me and say, "Wait a minute, Ted. I've been around real estate all these years. I never heard of these tax liens and deeds being all this good." Mm -hmm. Well, the reason you haven't heard this is because most brokers, now I'm not knocking brokers, I'm not knocking attorneys, I'm not knock, knocking anybody. I'm just saying they are not gonna, they're not going to tell you about this. And the reason they don't tell you about it is there's no commission involved. You have to learn how to do this yourself because yeah. you have to buy direct. The county won't allow any commissions to be paid. Mm. So you have to learn how to do this. Now, if you're already a real estate person, you're going to come to my class and you're going to go right through it. Now, I do classes once a month, and I'm going to invite a lot of you guys later in, the, in this uh, video. You can come to that class. It's an all-day class. It's on a Saturday. Starts at 1130, so you can sleep in. Uh, 11 o'clock, I should say. It goes to about 530, so no excuses. So you can come to the class. You guys will whiz through this, but all the states are open for investing. You just have to learn the computer, and if you don't know it, we have classes on it every single week, free classes that people right. can learn how to research property. 
this is going to be nothing more than a research business 10 years from now. And, and, it, sound, and it sounds to me like this is one of those recession proof, COVID proof, whatever the next bugaboo proof, because the, yeah, county, exactly. the counties always need their money, right? Yeah. Well, the county survives on property tax. I yeah. mean, they wouldn't have money to help the people at the hospital. They wouldn't have money to fix the roads. I right. mean, the county's got to get this money in. And so they're pretty serious about collecting these. Now, a place like Miami, when they're selling tax certificates, now Miami-Dade's a big county, you know, multiple of millions of people there. They'll have 65,000 certificates available, 65,000. Now it's Miami so doesn't, they don't wait to do big sales. Yeah. They'll do a sale every 10 days to two weeks oh, wow. on the tax defaulted property. So they got these big 300,000, $500,000 houses. They're auctioning those off continuously. I'm not right. talking about little properties in the, you know, people like to say the other side of town or whatever. These right. are not, these are everything that you can imagine. There'll be commercial property, there'll be farms, there'll be ranches. Everything you can imagine ends up at tax auctions. But it, but even but even if it is kind of on the other side of town, if it's a tax lien, and it, and, and I'm just I mean it's just the interest, right? Because 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 at exactly. the end of the day, and anybody's ever seen a property tax bill, if you don't pay it when it's due, that interest meter kicks into high gear real quick. And exactly. so that that person who who didn't pay their property taxes, even if they actually make it up, like you said. 90 some percent make it up um right. they're, they're not just paying the property taxes but they're paying the property taxes and the fees and the interest and all that kind of other stuff exactly. and, that's, and that's the stuff i get as an investor in those tax certificates right 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 yeah. absolutely place like illinois it's amazing they pay 36 percent on the tax certificate really 36 percent and there's right. and there's no prohibition on being an out-of-state so i i sitting in my computer in maryland could Tap some of that too. You can buy in any state, in any county in the United States if you want to do it. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so, so hypothetically speaking, let's say I had a big windfall, right? Uh, maybe I had twenty, thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars. Um, what what would you recommend? Go after one big tax certificate, or maybe break it up into some smaller deals. What's the best strategy for something like that? Well, well, don't judge me by my shirt, but I am a conservative investor. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else used to say to me for years, do you ever take that suit off? Well, I took it off and look what happened. So I took my suit off. So, so the, here's the deal. You can buy any way you want. I would say just get started okay. and get started with tax lien certificates if you're a new investor. Right. All right. Now, I need to tell you, 64% of my clients are women. Now, the reason they're women mm -hmm. is because I preach buy low, sell low. In other words, mm -hmm. that's my... Walmart, Target, Costco strategy, buy right. it low and just sell it to somebody who wants to fix it up. I tell my people, well, as soon as the women hear that, they say, oh, we can use the computer right. and we can just wear our nice looking clothes and head over there and buy those products. So you can buy these. So I would say if you had 30 or $50,000, try tax lien certificates, make sure that you got the understanding. The beauty of this business, there's no recession. Every year they will have tax parties. Now, some of the tax properties are a result. People pass away with no heirs. Hmm. And so who's going to pay the tax? Some right. of the tax properties are going to auction because people just give up and say they don't want to sell it. Now, when you have places like, see, you live in a dynamic growth area. Right. If you just go 200 miles north of you, not even that much, not you either. just go north of you, north of New York City. New York is really a rural state. Yeah. And, and people yeah, are- As is Maryland. Them. As is Maryland. I mean, once you get outside three or four counties- you know, Mont Montgomery County, Prince George's County, Howard County, yeah. Baltimore. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a pretty rural state on the eastern yeah. shore and out west. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So in those states, they have an out. New York has a quarter million people leave a year. Mm. 250, according to the census, 250 people a year leave. So that, wow. that's, a, that's a million people every, every four years leaving the state. And so there's a lot. Some of the people just give up on trying to sell the house. They just walk away. Mm. So. The lot still has some value. You and I know that. You could bulldoze Absolutely. the house. So what if you get it for 10 cents on the dollar, sell it for 34? So I teach buy it low, sell it low. So okay. if you're a real estate person, you'll fall in love with it right away because you'll see these deals. Now, let me just show you an example. Okay. Uh, let me grab, uh, I'm going to use Los Angeles because it was the closest brochure, but no, I'm going to use you New York. I got a bunch of those right here too. I okay. just got a big desk with it. All right, now this is, um, this is Sullivan County, the one I picked up. There's a bunch of them here, by the way, a whole bunch. All right, so Sullivan County, that's about an hour and 15 minutes north of New York City. Now, what I'm going to show you is an auction with 250 properties. And they give me a picture. I, I downloaded this on the Internet. All uh -huh. right. They give me a picture and a description of every property before, before I, I do anything else. 
Wow. Nice. Yeah, so the auctioneer company, the auction company, they can write it down if they want. They can check it out. New York State Auction, you can check that out yourself if you want. Cool. And you, you can download that and you can see it. But this is what we teach in our class. So the class I'm going to do on, on uh, Saturday coming up, yeah. well, they'll be able to come in and learn this step by step from not just myself, but I have four coaches. They're all old guys like me, you know, 60 years old, but they all got experience. My, my group of coaches have purchased and resold over 200 tax properties. No Excellent. other group in the world has done that. Excellent. That's how long. They've, been, they've all been with me 10 or 15 years. I have Excellent. one gal that does the same thing. So you're getting the idea. So, so I would start it? small, but get started. The big key is get started. So you hear these stories about people who quote unquote buy properties for pennies on the dollar. What, what, what would you say is probably one of the best deals you've ever seen over the years in terms of uh, percentage? Okay. Of I'd have to say that the best a dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land. It happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten dollars or $20,000 off of a deal. Because <laughs> I know you won't believe me. Well, by the so way, some, the of, some of our folks don't realize that Zillow actually is a brokerage firm now, has been for years. Yeah. Zillow, Zillow's not doing any brokerage here in our region, but when Ted says Zillow sold it, that's not, he's not misquoting. Zillow yeah. actually is a brokerage firm in many yeah. places around the country. Right. So right. in any event, um, can I do this with a credit card? Uh, uh, not in every state, but uh, I bought online using a credit card. I bought nine properties in upstate New York. Now, when I say upstate, I'm not talking to clear up at the St. Lawrence River. Now, I'm talking about within 100 miles of New York City. I bought right. nine and I just used a credit card. And some of those properties were like $400,000 colonials. And yeah. I already told you I spent 30 cents on the dollar. And I, I did that with credit cards. Nice, nice. And they yeah, were happy to do it. Now, am I responsible for things like the water bill, the utility bills, when I'm investing in these tax liens or tax deeds? Uh, if once you own the property, you're responsible for everything. But okay. before that, you don't have to worry. When they when they sell you the property, they're going to sell it to you. Now, I don't know if you know about things like quiet title and stuff like that. There's some of that kind of work that that does have to be done. There's okay. some, you know, you, you need to learn a little bit about quit claim deeds and stuff like that. But real estate people, that, that's just normal stuff for them. Right, right, right. And, and, and I think we were talking a little bit about this last time. And, and, and again, I see a question we got here. Uh, what if there's still bank debt on the property? Am I responsible for paying the mortgage? Well, actually, the auction, whether it's a tax lien certificate auction or a tax deed auction, the mortgage is wiped out. It's gone. Wow. Now, when I say it's wiped out, I don't mean that they go over and they get the mortgage and they tear it up. They're not going to do that. Okay. What they're going to do is they're going to wipe it off the property records gotcha. at the county. And then whoever had that mortgage basically signed a promissory note, as you know. A mortgage is just a wraparound of promissory note. Right. And so that person still owes that mortgage. Gotcha. The person still there's no lien on the property. There's no, there's no lien, lien on the property. But you need to learn how to check liens and stuff like that. But judgments and liens generally fall off. Uh, there could be some federal liens that you really want to check on those. The IRS, by the way, uh, the tax auction wipes out the IRS. They give them 120 days and it's wiped out. Wow. And you 99 of, of the people. Here's what all the brokers don't know. Yeah. They don't know. They look at that property and say, I would never buy that property because IRS lien on it. What? I, I tell my students, if you don't want to buy a property that's got IRS lien, call me, I'll buy it. <laughs> Why? Because the IRS lien is actually wiped out. Now, the IRS leaves the lien on there for 120 days. Gotcha. 120 days. At the end of 120 days, they either have to pay you whatever you paid at the auction hmm. or they have to walk. Interesting. How about that? I so like if you that. find one with an IRS lien, yeah. pounce on it. Got it. Be a tiger. Just be a tiger. Wow. <laughs> IRS. <laughs> and because obviously nobody else. how to do that in the class too, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll teach them how. Matter of fact, this class is uh, so intense. They'll, they'll only get 10-minute uh, breaks. And uh, there's four of those in the course of the day. And this class really, really more. This is not casual. It's doing just like now. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have video. We'll have five different people teaching it. It's, it's intense. Anybody that wants to learn about tax liens and deeds, they want to be there. Now, I charge 47 bucks. If they can't okay. afford that, they probably shouldn't be 
in the business, but <laughs> 47 bucks. And why do I do that? Because every time I do that, people show up. But if mm -hmm. I don't charge them, they don't show up. Those darn internet guys, they go back to sleep. So I want to make, when they get 47 bucks, they'll do anything. They're invested. So do we want to tell them how to sign up for this event? Yeah, if you can remember all that addressing, if not, I'll have to go look it up. Do you remember what uh, it was? I think you told me it was Tax Lean Insider Secrets. Tax Lean Insider Secrets dot com. Okay, great. I'll put that up. Louis writing it down. Tax okay. Lean Insider Secrets. Tax he's, a, lean he's insider right behind secrets. me in the screen, and he's writing that down. And I there know Lance wrote it. Down. And we'll type it in the chat box too. Yeah, yeah. All no, right, we better, cool. We'll let you go. To, I know you got to go get that shot. So <laughs> I don't want you to miss. All, all right. right, we'll we'll arrange on a text and do one more of these so I can show you that special video. Yeah, well, I want to see that. Sounds All right. Good. All right. Good to see you. You too. All right. Good luck.